We have some exciting news. With the new version of Posture, the view box has been totally revamped. If we look into uh, the settings menu, if you go into view box, the new text overlay, make sure that that is checked as well as the view box overlay um, is shown in it initially. Uh, make sure that that is checked off and let me show you what the, the nice effect is. If we go in and I'm gonna pull up a patient, last name is Spine, search okay when we pull up the the person of course we can still do what we would do on posture and of course we could still always draw on posture if we wanted to but we have some new buttons here and let me move to an x-ray so you can see we have this curve button here which will allow us to hide the curve lines okay so that way if there was a sperm we wanted to show that to the person we could go ahead and remove the lines which is very very helpful in the prior version, we added the ability to show when available uh, a translational line. But what's new now with the new text overlay is, wow, look at this. We can actually show each segmental value, the, the relative angles, plus what the normal is, plus percent difference. So in this case, we could educate the patient on that they have a 12.2 degree kyphosis at C4-5, which represents 252% and a half change from normal as well as here a 250%, 257.5% change from normal. And notice that we are now labeling it as well too. So the cool thing is that there's also a new button up here that if we change this, we can go ahead and do posterior tangents as well as if, and that stands for impression lines. If we do the end plate lines, if available, we'll go ahead and switch to the end plate values and notice the relative angles are different based on the AMA guides because they're not actually the relative, it's one motor unit compared to the, the next motor unit on how the angulation is. With that being said, the nice thing is, is that if we go into even, well, let me just go through here, we can go ahead and turn on those values if we wanted to, cycle through those, turn on the values here and here, notice how it's automatic and even on the AP view, we can show the important areas and of course the, where the, the, the cervical dorsal angle is at C6, it's gonna be adjacent to that, okay? And if the same thing applies to all these different x-rays, so like even in the nasium view, we have the overlay and the pertinent information. But let's scroll through, let me go to a, a, um, a flexion extension view here. If we go ahead and show this, Notice how we're showing the, the flexion extension angles as well. And moving on, with scoliosis, the nice thing about this is that if we want to overlay and show cob lines, a big request was to be able to do that, so now we can. We can go ahead and toggle on the, the cob lines if we want to. We can also shut them off because the end plate's not there. We can also hide them. Okay. So those are the new updates to the view box. I know you're going to love it. And there's some other updates that we'll be going over in just a bit. So stay tuned.